If you're on the front lines with a dangerous job, chances are you've used a bulletproof vest. From police officers to people in the military, these life-saving garments are essential for safety. And we know how some crazy plot twists have happened in cinema, with characters surviving gunshots just because they were wearing one. But how are they made? In today's video, let's take a look at how this protective gear gets ready to save lives. You might be surprised to hear this, but the journey to create a bulletproof vest begins with a thread. Well, it is a vest. This isn't any common thread, though. Instead, it's made from special materials designed to be incredibly strong and durable. And two of the most well-known threads used in bulletproof vests are Kevlar and Dyneema. Now, Kevlar is produced by spinning a solid fiber from a liquid chemical blend. This process creates fibers that are five times stronger than steel on an equal weight basis. This makes it an obvious choice for ballistic protection. But Dyneema isn't any less impressive. It's created through a gel spinning process that produces a fiber 15 times stronger than steel. The amazing thing is how this fiber isn't only strong, but also flexible. It provides excellent protection without compromising comfort, a win-win. So how does something as soft as fabric stop a speeding bullet? It might seem counterintuitive, but the science behind body armor is surprisingly simple. Essentially, it's a matter of dispersing energy. Bulletproof material is basically just a very strong net. Once the specialized threads are produced, they're fed through machines that wrap and stretch them into yarn. Since yarn plays an important role in constructing bulletproof textiles, it must be durable. It also has to be able to be woven into strong, flexible fabrics. Coming to the next step, the yarn is woven into sheet materials using large industrial machines. It's fascinating because these machines interlock the yarns in a very specific pattern to create ballistic textiles. These textiles form the foundation of bulletproof vests. The weaving process is critical to the effectiveness of the final product. By carefully controlling the interweaving of yarns, manufacturers produce super strong sheets. At the end, the material is typically produced in large rolls. It's similar to fabric rolls found in a craft store, but much stronger and more durable. After the ballistic textiles are ready, they need to be cut into appropriate shapes for the vest panels. This is done using industrial cutting presses that slice through multiple layers of material simultaneously. And since it's all machinery, the patterns used for cutting make sure that each piece fits together perfectly to form the front and back panels of the vest. The cutting process is extremely precise, and it needs to be because even small variations in shape and size can affect the vest's performance. The panels are designed to cover vital areas of the body, providing maximum protection but allowing for mobility. After cutting the sheet material, the next step is to assemble the layers into a ballistic panel. The number of layers required depends on the level of protection needed. For example, a vest designed to stop high-velocity rifle rounds will have more layers than one designed to stop handgun bullets. In the case of Kevlar, the layers are stitched together to form a nice complete panel. This stitching helps hold the layers in place and make sure that the panel can absorb and distribute the force of an impact. To protect the ballistic panel from moisture and other environmental factors, it's placed in a protective cover. This cover can be heat sealed or sewn, depending on the design and materials used. The cover not only protects the panel, but also helps maintain its shape and integrity. Then, we're at the final step in crafting a bulletproof vest, placing the ballistic panels into a carrier. This carrier is a specially designed vest that ensures the panels stay in the correct position against the body, even during movement. It has pockets to secure the panels, ensuring they don't shift or move out of place. Carriers are a core component of these vests, so they're designed with comfort and adjustability in mind. They allow the wearer to customize the fit for maximum protection and ease of movement. Some carriers even feature additional pockets for inserting extra panels or accessories. They're called trauma plates and they help provide added protection against blunt force impacts. With technology evolving every day, it's no wonder bulletproof vests are too. Researchers and manufacturers are always on the lookout for new ways to improve the materials and processes used in vest construction. 
For example, Tejan Aramid is developing ultra microfibers to create vests that aren't only bulletproof but also stab proof. These incredibly fine fibers can prevent injuries from gritty particles blasted out by roadside bombs. For some, that offers an extra layer of protection that's very much needed. Then there are scientists at the US Air Force Research Laboratory who are working on artificial silk. This material could revolutionize body armor. It has the potential to be stronger than Kevlar while providing greater flexibility and better temperature regulation. Ultimately, you want vests to be more comfortable to wear, especially if your job requires wearing one regularly. To make sure of that, new additions such as moisture wicking linings and ergonomic designs are game changers. They make sure that you can wear your vest for however long is needed. Plus, manufacturers are exploring smart textiles integrated with technology. These vests of the future could monitor the wearer's vital signs and environmental conditions. Now, there's real-time data for enhanced safety. Personnel can be tracked, especially in harsh conditions. Rest assured, advances in materials and manufacturing techniques are bringing in growth. Vests are now lighter and thinner without sacrificing protection. As technology continues to advance, we can expect bulletproof vests to become even more effective and versatile. Especially since the demand for bulletproof vests is growing beyond military and law enforcement applications. Even Batman needs armor. Now, even civilians are moving towards looking for personal protection. Safety, comfort, but there's another factor that's becoming more important. Style. The trend of civilians looking for more vests means that stylish and discreet bulletproof vest clothing is on the rise. It's driving innovation in the industry, as manufacturers work towards meeting the diverse needs of their customers. And with the world trying to be more sustainable, many companies are exploring eco-friendly alternatives. They're considering recycled fibers and biodegradable materials instead, all to reduce the environmental footprint of these critical safety garments. Hemp fabric is an unlikely contender. It's a cost-effective and sustainable alternative to traditional materials while maintaining the required level of protection. Well, the process of making bulletproof vests is definitely complex and fascinating. From the creation of specialized threads to the final assembly of the vest, each step is equally important. Whether for military, law enforcement, or civilian use, these life-saving garments will continue to play a key role in protecting individuals from ballistic threats. So the next time you see a bulletproof vest, you'll have a deeper appreciation for the process that goes into making these impressive pieces of protective gear. They're a testament to human ingenuity and the pursuit of safety and security. And that's all from us. Stay safe and stay informed as we keep exploring the fascinating world of protective technologies. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.